Hi, it's Alexis Hasselberger here, time management and productivity coach. Do you suffer from shiny object syndrome? Do you know what I'm talking about? It's that syndrome where you just, there's so many ideas, there's so many things, there's so many good ideas coming your way, there's so many opportunities, and you just keep flitting from one thing to the other, to the other, to the other. They all sound great, and yet none of them are done. We're not making progress on any of them because they're just too many. We keep diluting our focus by going all over the place, right? Now, this used to be me. Um, I suffered from shiny object syndrome big time, right? I have so many ideas, so many ideas for videos like this, so many ideas for blog posts to write, so many ideas for things I could and should and want to do in my business, just so many ideas, more ideas than I could ever possibly execute on, right? Just to give you an idea of this, right? I produce one of these videos a week, right? I probably come up with, I don't know, like five to seven different ideas every single week about something that I could do. And this could be really overwhelming. And in fact, this used to be very overwhelming until I started using a strategy that I want to share with you about how we can not, you know, get rid of all of these ideas because some of them are really great ideas, right? But what can we do about it to make sure that we're using our time in a way that feels good, that we're making progress on the things that are actually important and that we're not losing track of these ideas either because I know that that was always a big fear for me is that like, well, if I don't act on these ideas now, I'm gonna lose them. And what if some of them are great ideas and I should have done them, right? So I wanna introduce a concept of a parking lot, right? a place to put these shiny ideas, these shiny objects, just for a little while, just to see if they can hold their luster. And so what I found is that if you put these ideas that you have in a, a dark metaphorical parking lot, right? Some of them, they lose their luster pretty quick. They're not as shiny tomorrow or next week or next year as they were today when we thought of them, saw them, et cetera. Now, some of them in this dark parking lot will still be shiny a year later, a week later, a few months later, whenever it is you go back to it. These are the good ideas. These are the ideas that would bubble to the top, right? And so we don't want to lose track of those, but we want to have a little bit of distance from them so that we can decide if they are worth pursuing or if they are not worth pursuing. And so this is how you do it. You can have these for, for all sorts of things, right? You can have uh, a list for ideas for you to write if you write. You can have a list of, you know, just things you want to try. This is very similar in some ways to a someday maybe list, um, which is something you may have heard me talk about before. But we're essentially just saying we're not going to act on these things now. I'm not going to act on these things now, but I reserve the right to act on them later, right? I don't want to lose them. I don't want to lose track of them, but I also don't want them cluttering up my brain space. I also don't want them on my task list because if I have a bajillion ideas on my task list of things I might do, could do, possibly should do, et cetera, that is going to be very distracting from actually doing the things that I've already committed to, right? That I, that I have committed time to, that I have decided to do, right? So what I want you to do is this. I want you to look at your task system or your task list, or if you don't have one, then just Take a peek inside your brain, right? And I want you to separate out these things that are just ideas. They are shiny objects that you're thinking about. I want you to separate those out from the things that you have actually decided to do, right? That you have committed time to. We're not going to lose these shiny objects. We are definitely not going to lose these shiny objects. We're just going to set them aside and see if they're still shiny a little bit later. And if they are, then you are welcome to do that thing, right? You can add that thing to your task list. You can make time in your life to do that thing, but we don't have to follow them all. And in fact, when we follow fewer things at a time, we get more done. That gives us more motivation to go tackle some of those other things, some of those other ideas. You may find also that you have ideas that were a good idea 10 years ago, a year ago, et cetera. And they actually don't make any sense in your life right now or in your job right now or in your business right now, right? That's okay too. That idea, it it rent has run its course and we can just say thank you to it, a la Marie Kondo, and just let it go, right? So we can keep things there that we're not going to do. That's okay. Maybe there'll be another time in the future. But here's the thing. We want to separate these shiny objects from the stuff we're actually doing because we can come back to it later. And so if you're going to do this, make a place for it, right? Maybe this is a special list in your task system. Maybe this is a document. Maybe this is a notion. I don't know where it is for you, wherever makes sense for you. And when you have these ideas, when you have all of these ideas bubbling or all these opportunities coming at you, I want you to just park them, park them in the parking lot. And you could come back to it 
even a day later, even you know, a week later, right? Just give it a little moment to see if it's still shiny later. Think of it kind of like sleeping on something. Like you don't purchase it right away, right? You want to sleep on it, see if you still want it, see if it still looks good, et cetera. So think about this, a parking lot for your ideas, a parking lot for the opportunities, a parking lot for all those shiny objects that are always coming your way that we just don't have time to execute on every single one of them, right? Keep them there. Don't lose them. Honor the fact that you had that thought or that opportunity came your way and then review them on a regular basis to see if there's anything that's still shiny that you still want to do, that you still want to commit to, and then bring that into your real life task list. Make the time to do it. Put it on your calendar, whatever it is that helps you to actually move forward on something. Now, I want you to tell me in the comments, what is one thing that is going on your parking lot today, right? What is one thing that has been shiny? Maybe you just thought of it today. Maybe it's been a shiny object sitting right there for a little while. What is one thing that is going into your parking lot today? Let me know in the comments. And of course, if you like this video, make sure to like it. Let me know so that I can create more content like this and make sure to subscribe so that you are always getting new videos in your feed every single week. Until next time. Thank you for watching this video and please don't forget to like and subscribe because only about 23% of the people that watch your videos are actually subscribed. Thank you.